back at it again and we've got another sjw video and you know why because we love the sjw's they bring us endless amounts of entertainment endless shout out to sjw central on the video original link is down below make sure you guys go subscribe to their channel as well with that being said let's dive in you know not a news organization. Owen Troyer from Infowars.com. Not real news. All we're doing is putting a microphone in citizens' face. Oh, no, really? So you're saying me putting a microphone in people's face to talk is smearing them? No, you don't follow our channel. Come here, sir. Come here, sir. Come here. I'm offering you a chance to talk. See, you're smearing yourself. Here we go. If you can in some way get a form or something to uh promise to not cut any of what i say or have the full before you put it out you can go to alex jones channel on youtube and see your videos in entirety he's a liar <laughs> alex jones is a liar what does he lie about <laughs> he, he makes what? name one uh throw it out of my head <laughs> yes i love it he's got nothing Hey, I mean, dude, he's just. <laughs> he dropped the mic. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I got so fired up, you know. People say all this stuff about Trump. They have nothing to say, no depth. This guy says Alex Jones is a liar, just got stumped himself. NPCs, man. I'm telling y'all, NPCs. They repeat what the, what the, what the uh, mainstream media tells them to. And when they get called out on it, they don't even know why they're even saying it. The media is not telling them what to say. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Helm. He's a Jade liar. Helm. He said it was a federal government takeover of Texas. It's they bullshit. did. They, they, they enacted many Look drills. Federal government took over Texas. Is that what you're saying? Are you saying that Jade Helm exercises didn't happen? No, they happened. So yeah, what's your Alex point? Jones, Alex Jones' entire point was that it was the federal government trying to take over Texas. Are you familiar with are you familiar with geolocation and geo tracking and geo mapping? Uh that sounds like conspiracy theory garbage. Sir. That's a government document, sir. I don't believe that. Okay, so you're the one that comes to this debate in uh, uneducated and ignorant. It's not I can pull out any bogus random term from No, I'm citing government documents. It doesn't matter. You're using it. You can use it out of context. You can use it however no, sir. No, sir. You said Alex Jones was a conspiracy theorist on Jade Helm. I cited the government document that existed and the exercise, and then you fell blank. No, you used this out of context. I have no idea. What well, you brought up Jade Helm, and now how am I? If he if he doesn't know what he's even talking about, how does he know that he's that it's out of context? See, people just just talk and don't even know what they're even saying. It, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, if you don't know, just admit you don't know. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Jeez, Louise. Using it out of context. The word geolocation, geo whatever. Geospatial mapping. Yeah. Okay. What it is? Yeah. What is it? Okay. So, so everyone here, everyone here has a cell phone, correct? At any given time, because of the applications on your cell phone, you have signed away your rights. They can turn on your camera. They can turn on your microphone. They can turn on everything. They have Snapchat. Snapchat. Snapchat has facial recognition, folks. What do you think they're doing with that technology? Absolutely correct. So I was responding to the gist man. So what do you say about that? I just told you what geospatial mapping is. I got nothing else to say. So I beat you in a debate. No, you didn't. I'm a liar. Yeah. What did I lie about? You, I, don't, I don't know. You worked for Alex Jones. <laughs> I will promise this man this. We will put this entire video on YouTube, sir. I promise you that. Uh, most people that have guns. <laughs> yeah, because he absolutely looked foolish. Oh, you're a liar. About what? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, man, they just love to throw out things, names and all this kind of stuff, and just have no clue what they're talking about. Don't use them on other people. You said if you have a gun, you're going to use it. Most people that have guns don't use them on other people. 
And you said if you have a gun, you're going to use it. Well, we don't. What's that? Most I'm saying if you have a gun, you better be people, able to use it. Yes. Most people are overwhelmingly good. Okay, yeah, well, but most people have that's... a gun. 350 million Americans, right. there are 310 no, that million guns. Right, that doesn't mean that most people have a gun. It doesn't distribute exactly that but, way. But, you know, people, you know that. people you know are that uh, blaming you violence in that. movies and videos well, that's on insane. this. That's insane. That's no, insane. Really? It's it's not what is it called? Art of War, Man of War? What do the kids call it? We don't allow that in our house. Really? So busy buying coal. By the way, but before before I rant on their entire conversation, what happened to uh, Wendy Williams? Last time I checked, she had a she had a talk show or whatever. I didn't really like it. Um, obviously, I caught clips of it here and there. You know, people post you know little clips on social media and whatnot. Um, I think I even came across a couple of clips on YouTube. But anyway, what happened to her? Um, I did a little bit of digging and somebody talked about her eating a crow. And after that, it was like downhill. And, you know, there were videos on social media that popped up and she was just like bug eyed and just like stumbling and looked like she had lost a bunch of weight. And if anybody knows, uh, let me know in the comment section. I mean, I have my speculation, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, maybe some of that and, you know, some other things, but <laughs> Y'all let me know, because that whole situation is just crazy. Um, as much as I might disagree with somebody, uh, you know, I I still think, you know, stuff like that is truly a sad situation. If it's true, I don't know if she's, like, having some kind of medical situation. But anyway, let's jump back into it. Art of War, Man of War, what do the kids call uh, of Duty? Uh, call of we don't allow that in our house, really? So call busy buying Call of Duty. Does she have, does she have kids? She said she doesn't, we don't allow that in our house. Duty, there needs to be more hugs in households. Those aren't mutually exclusive. Well, Nothing in Call of Duty says you can't hug your family. Uh, well, you know what? Nothing this says, boy's, this boy's no... favorite game pen was Call of Duty. Yes, and many, and many it's... peaceful people. You're doing the same thing. Uh, Call of Duty is the most popular game there is. Everyone's playing it, so of course bad people are going to play it too. Yeah. To try yeah. to blame Lex. Shakespeare and the violence in Shakespeare and the violence in art uh, for violence that happens in the real world is something that's been tried for years and is always wrong. People must take responsibility. We must stop blaming society well, and actually blame that. the perpetrator. Yeah, you know what? There's, there's I Call of Duty. This crowd doesn't even know what they're clapping for. Did y'all notice that? The crowd clapped when Wendy talked about blaming the video games, but then they also clapped when he said, stop blaming the video games, blame the actual person. Sheesh, Louise. Are those fake claps? <laughs> I gotta ask at this point, because they just clapped for two opposing ideas, completely opposing ideas. But anyway. Society well, and actually blame the perpetrator. Yeah, you know what? There's Call of Duty. Call of Duty is something that young people like and enjoy, and it's a game. I think right. most of those people are involved. Most of those people kids. are violent. Most of the see, people are like, violent. We, we most need to take responsibility for our own houses. And we have Fox? to stop disliking our children. We attack comic books. We attack monster movies. Now we're attacking video games. Love our children and know that they take can care play. of your household. Let them play. Jamie Foxx is one of the only celebrities. And Jamie Foxx is wrong. Well, he says Dead we wrong. cannot turn our backs and say that violent, violence in films or anything that we do doesn't have some sort of influence. It does. I blame, I, I go along with that. Blame the killers. Why not blame the killers? Well, some of the do killers not blame the artists. Movies, blame the killers, not the artists. Uh, Why are you blaming artists for something that bad people did? And it's, Shakespeare is not a bad person. He wrote beautiful stuff. It has suicide, it has murder, and it tells us something about our hearts. And people who watch Shakespeare don't kill and call of duty is art it is not some sort of propaganda well, thing well, and that's how, how an about easy this? way how out about this? this is a case of of of, uh, of of violence with guns video games and mental health now here's a kid who was borderline autistic with Asperger's they have a lot of social problems they they don't have know no, how to, no they don't violent problems no 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 None. autistic People kids are usually things. victims my and point and is that if you sit this kid in a room all day shooting people shooting people if they have no social skills how do you know that they, because it's been, been well, he had no social no evidence. No evidence. There's no evidence that Asperger's syndrome people go violent from playing no, games. No, that's you not have, not one, you have not one data point of evidence on that. I'm not saying that. Well, you just said that it. is that's, what she's, well, that is what she's saying. Let me try to be clearer. Okay, 
here's a person who has troubles figuring out what's social and what's not. And he's inundated with shoot, 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 shoot. And then right. a little plan comes to cause, well, maybe I'll just go to school and shoot people. Well, you've just done caught. She just said that she, that's not what that's not what she said, but then she just repeated it. Goodness gracious! It's an effect where it doesn't exist. There's no you, guilt. There's no it's guilt. It's there's a, no, no conscience. No, that's not true that there's no guilt and no he conscience. He wouldn't make eye contact with Asperger. his barber. Please don't t tear he, those people apart. I, mean, I have good friends with Asperger's. They have, have conf they have conscience. They have empathy. All of that is not true. You're spreading lies about people who are part of our society and that we need to love and take care of and okay. share it. Okay, uh, Mr. Friedman. Now, to give my thoughts on that whole situation, I was waiting to the end because I didn't want to pause it again. The fact that people always want to point the finger at someone else other than themselves is absolutely ridiculous. It's the video game. It's the music. It did. It did. It did. It did. It's the person's fault. And I'll use myself as an example. Growing up, I have played video games like Grand Theft Auto, uh, which I'm sure you guys have at least heard of. If not, a lot of you have played that video game at some point or have children that have played that game. Um, I have played video games like that basically my entire life. My entire life. Now, were there moments where, you know, um, I did some crazy things in the video game? Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely, I did some of the wildest stuff in that video game. But I knew what I did in that video game, I could not walk outside of my front door and go do that exact same thing. There's real world consequences once you put that controller down and you actually go act it out in real life. There are real world consequences for that. A video game you can restart. Life you can't. Right. And this comes down to parents. If your parents instill that in you, what's right and what's wrong, like my mother did. Hey, the stuff you see in this video game, you can't do in real life. You can do it on a video game. But once you walk outside these four walls, you can't do it out there. Yes, ma'am. The stuff you listen to in, in these songs. I listen. I, I listen to some of the some of the worst music ever. Like this is all crazy to me. I played the worst video games. Grand Theft Auto, Saints Row, Call of Duty. All video games where you're robbing, or, well, Grand Theft Auto and Saints Row, you're robbing, you're stealing, you're shooting. Call of Duty, obviously, you're shooting. There's blood. There, there's all kinds of stuff. Listen to some of the worst music. Why didn't I turn out and just be this horrible, terrible, no good, very bad person who's just out here harming everybody and anybody? I should have been heavily influenced. <laughs> it's the individual person's fault. And if you want to, if you want to branch that out even a little bit further, you can put it on the parents. Put it on the parents. It's the way that I see it. How do y'all feel? Let me know in the comment section. I, I, I hate that type of debate. It's, it's, it's the video game's fault that this kid over here did this, this foolish, this foolish act. No, it's the kid's fault sense does that make referring to the statements that you made about women who abdicate equal pay for equal work gee i thought i'd get a rise out of that sooner or later delighted to have it um, is that milton yes okay i just would like to know if you're insinuating or perhaps you know point blankly saying that um women and other minorities skills are inferior to those of those now holding those jobs and that they need to go through a period where their skills need to be improved and therefore deserve to be paid less no i don't think dessert has anything to do with it it is I'm milton not, first of all i think dessert is an impossible thing to decide who deserves what no nope. rest in peace to the great milton friedman who deserves anything facts <laughs> thank god we don't get what we deserve <laughs> But, but I'm not saying that at all. True I'm that. saying a very different thing. I'm saying that the actual effect of requiring equal pay for equal work will be to harm women. If women's skills are higher than men's in a particular job and are recognized to be higher, 
the law does no good because then they will be able to compete away and can get the same income. If their skills are less for whatever reason, maybe it isn't because they're se it's their sex, maybe it's because they were out of the labor force, maybe it's for other reasons. And you say the only way you, can, uh, you are able to hire them is by paying the same wage, then you're denying them the only weapon they have to fight with. If the unwillingness of the men to hire them is because the men are sexist, uh, are, 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 what's the phrase, racist, uh, sexist pigs or whatever, <laughs> if that's the only reason they want to hire them, nonetheless, you want to make it costly to them to exercise their prejudice. If you say to them, hmm, you have to pay the same wage no matter whether you pay higher women or men, then here's Mr. Sexist Pig. It doesn't cost him anything to hire men instead of women. However, if the women are free to compete and to say, well, now look, I'll offer my work for less, then he can only hire men if he bears a cost. If the women are really good as a man, as good as a man, then he's paying a price for discriminating. And what you are doing, not intentionally, but by misunderstanding, when you try to get equal pay for equal work laws, is what you are doing is reducing to zero the cost imposed on people who are, who are discriminating for irrelevant reasons. Mm. And I would like to see a cost imposed on them. I'm on your side, <laughs> but you're not. She wasn't on her own side and didn't even know it. Didn't even know it. Shout out to the great Milton Friedman. May he rest in peace. Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely agree with Milton. You know, this whole men getting paid more than women like that. It would make more sense to hire women if men were being paid a whole lot more because you would save money. You know what I mean? Um, and as much as people like to say, and including myself, money isn't everything, and we, we understand that, but keeps the lights on, definitely keeps food on the table, and at this point in time, you know, when, when prices are through the roof, keeps gas in the tank, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? It ain't everything, but it definitely helps, okay? Uh, speaking of that, thank you to every single last one of you guys, and I've never, I don't think I've ever even advertised this or even spoken about it, but... Thank you to every single last one of you guys that have sent me a super thanks, um, you know, in the comment section. A super thanks is just like a, a, a basically like a donation uh, through the YouTube platform that you can send. Um, thank you to every single last one of you guys that have done so. Um, even if I didn't directly respond, if I missed it, I, I do apologize. You know, I, I get thousands of comments, you know, <clears throat> when I see them, I try to respond uh, when, when I see them, but you know, obviously, you know, there's a, there's a lot of them that I do miss. So I do want to take the time to say thank you to every single last one of you guys. All right. Um, and also thank you to everyone that sent me donations via PayPal as well. Now, obviously I'm going to have to shut down that account, um, and create another account somewhere else. And, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know when that happens. It'll be in the comment section, whatever. If you guys want to, uh, donate, feel free, but, um, yeah. PayPal account will be shut down here shortly as soon as I figure out another place to go, which um, I think I heard of another place. I forgot the name of it. I have to look it up again. But anyway, thank you guys for all of the continued love and support. Hope you guys got a good uh, laugh out of this, a little bit of entertainment for a little while. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace and love. I'm out.